वेलकम टू अवर शॉर्ट एंड लैब चैनल जनरल डिक्टेशन एट द स्पीड ऑफ 100 टू 110 वर्ड्स पर मिनट सो बी रेडी स्टार्ट दिस ऑनरेबल हाउस इज अवेयर ऑफ द पॉलिसी विद रिगार्ड टू कोल दैट हैज बीन इंबॉडीड इन द टेंथ फाइव ईयर प्लान द टारगेट ऑफ कोल प्रोडक्शन एट अ फिगर ऑफ सिक्सटी मिलियन टन्स पर एनम हैज टू बी अटेंड at the end of the 10th five year plan that means an increase of 22 million tons over the existing production of roughly 38 million tons of these additional 22 million tons 12 million tons of additional coal production will be in the public sector and 10 million tons in the private sector to attain this target in the public sector the government has established a national coal development corporation the functions of that corporation are to work those collieries which at the moment are under state control and also to develop new collieries so that this additional target of 22 million tons may be attained in the 10th five year plan when the coal position was examined it was found that all the important areas where from coal could be exploited were covered either by prospecting leases or by mining leases in order that the government might be able to produce additional coal in the public sector it is necessary that we should have the power to acquire rights with regard to those areas of land where coal is likely to be found this will therefore gives the necessary authority for the acquisition of rights which will confer upon the state ultimately when the various proceedings which are mentioned in this bill are taken the right to exploit coal and develop those coal fields the pattern upon which this bill has been framed is a pattern with which this honorable house is familiar the broad pattern with regard to the procedure follows the pattern laid down in the land acquisition act there are two stages at which different notifications are issued i draw the attention of the honorable house in this connection to sections 4 and 7 under section 4 it is giving notice of government's intention to prospect for coal after the issue of that notification authority is taken for entering upon and surveying any land in such a locality to dig or bore into the subsoil to do all other acts necessary to prospect for coal in the land and to undertake all such other steps which can be described as exploratory in character sir after this information is collected preliminary work is done and if the central government is satisfied that coal is obtainable then within a period of 2 years from the date of issue of the notification under section 4 it will give notice of its intention to acquire the whole or any part of the land or of the rights in or over such land as the case may be it would be necessary because otherwise government would have had on its hands areas which need not have enough quantities of coal or coal which could not be economically prospected then after the issue of this notification other things follow the usual type of steps are visualized in order to enable the government to effectively get hold of that land and to undertake prospecting the other clause about which i would like to make a mention of 
at this stage is the clause relating to payment of compensation there may be criticism sir with regard to the principles which have been enunciated for assessment of compensation these principles are given in clause 13 of the bill the criticism may be of two kinds my friends opposite may criticize it on the ground that the principles that have been laid down are too liberal and are weighted in favor of those whose rights are to be acquired then again sir there may be criticism from some other friends may be sir towards my right or to the left of my honorable friend opposite who might be able to put up a case saying that we are making a departure from the normal principles with regard to which the country has become familiar namely those under the land acquisition act with all the provisions regarding the payment of solitium of 15% or the like government sir in this particular case have adopted a pattern some indication of which had already been given by parliament i would in this connection with your permission mr vice chairman like to refer to the principles which are laid down for payment of compensation under the mining leases modification of terms rules 1956 these rules sir were discussed three three bear in parliament and these rules were later on adopted i won't weary the honorable house by reading the various clauses of the relevant rules suffice it to say that the principle which is the underlying principle in those rules has also been adopted with necessary modifications to fit into the pattern of the present act in the compensation clause which is clause 13 of the bill the principle is the liability to pay compensation thank you so much